Hey guys, I am going to put together my dinner tonight and I thought I might as well demo for you just how easy cooking in the kitchen can be. You know, a lot of people tell me that, um, you know, they're afraid to go on one of those diets because they don't want to just drink shakes. Well, I'm here to tell you, I don't just drink shakes. I have shakes, very few and far between, right? I would rather cook. I love being in the kitchen. I love real food. So this is a recipe from the coach's recipe, right? It's right in this group. So search for it, right? Print it out, have it. I have mine bound. And this is easy protein coleslaw. So let's turn the fire on and get started. So it says two tablespoons of sesame seed oil. So that's what I have right here. We'll put two tablespoons in and we're going to heat it up let it let it do its thing and to that we are going to add two cloves of garlic and i buy the cheaters version just because it's easier so i'm going to add two cloves i'm going to guess it's about a tablespoon could be wrong but that's what we're going with. And you know, um, you guys, cooking in the kitchen and eating real food is so great. It takes, it takes away the word um, that I don't like is the word diet. Diet was never meant to be anything restricted. It was, it was just a word to you, use to kind of describe like your nutrition, right? It was just, you know, this is the diet. This is what I'm eating. It wasn't meant to be anything negative, but we turned it into that, right? Because all of a sudden it became restricted to us. Here I have um, brown chicken. It's a pound of brown chicken that I'm putting in here. So I got, um, oh, got the splashy. I had my oil heating up and then I added um, the garlic and now I've added the ground chicken and I'm going to brown that and then I'll show you the other ingredients. But here's the deal you guys, I love, like I said, I love being in the kitchen, I love cooking, I love creating and I love making these meals for my family and what I love the most about it is when it's healthy and everybody eats it, right? I love going to like family gatherings and I bring something and everybody gravitates to my dish and it's the healthy dish. You know, I don't have to have pizzas and cheese dip. So I'll give you, I'll give you a for example. I had my sister's, we were celebrating my sister's birthday party. She has four granddaughters and they're all little, like 10 years and younger. Um, and we were having a party for her. Well, my sister is gluten-free and she's pretty healthy. And um, I said, I told my mom, I said, I'll, I'll bring the dinner. I, I will bring it. And because um, I didn't want her stressing out, right? My mom's 88. I said, I'll take care of it all for you. And, uh, and I said, I don't want any chips. I don't want anything set out. I will take care of it. So I made a beautiful salad. Um, it's actually a hormone balancing salad. So it had... Um, butternut squash, it had different greens in it, it had cranberries, um, toasted walnuts, and um, so I brought that as the side. And then I made, with ground chicken, um, a turkey sloppy joe. And it was all my own ingredients, right? So I didn't buy the sloppy joe mix, I put all my own ingredients in it. Um, sugar-free barbecue sauce um, was one of the ingredients made a big pan of it and I served it over brown rice but I knew there were gonna be a lot of little kids so I also made um, purchased little teeny mini buns because I figured you know the kids are gonna probably want a burger right they're gonna probably want the bun so I should probably get that for them so I did guess what all the kids wanted to be like the adults and they wanted their sloppy joes in a bowl just like their parents so there you have it and my nephews everybody were just amazed at how good it was and they all wanted the recipe um so now i have this gadget here and this is going to help really grind up the chicken 
into many like minced pieces because I don't want any big pieces of the ground chicken. And it's almost, almost, almost brown. See how quick that was? Five minutes in and I have my chicken already brown. And I will tell you, part of this is planning, right? So I knew that this was a recipe I was gonna make and I knew I had the ingredients. So I took the chicken out this morning to make sure that it was ready to go for dinner. And here you go. So I'm gonna throw it, throw it together. All right, so that looks pretty good. I will show ya. So that's my browned chicken. We are gonna add coleslaw mix. So how easy is that? I bought a package of coleslaw mix. I've already used half of it because I use a lot of this in salads, but it says add 10 ounces to the ground um, chicken. And what else to say? Add your coleslaw and toss it to combine. So now I'm gonna switch utensils again and toss it to combine it. And I will tell you, the sesame oil makes this smell so, so incredibly yummy. Let me see what it looks like. All right, now, what does it say? Add in sriracha and soy sauce. So sriracha comes in a bottle like this. It says add a tablespoon. I'm gonna take off the top. Hot. I will tell you, this will make it hot, this will make it spicy, and two tablespoons of soy sauce, one, okay, and two. What else does it say? Teaspoon of vinegar. I have a tablespoon, so I'm gonna do about a half of this to add the vinegar in. What else? Black pepper and Himalayan salt. So I have some Himalayan salt. Is about a quarter of a teaspoon, so I'm just going to add some in. Get a little bit of black pepper here. I'm going to give this a toss. Let it cook up. Oh, it smells so good. So, so good. So, slowly trying to combine it all together. Ooh, I got a whiff of that sriracha. I have a feeling it's going to be spicy. Alright, so I have it all mixed to combine. Yummy, yummy. The so, last thing is um, a teaspoon of sesame seeds. And I guess I'm not gonna get the lid off. I don't like shakers, but I guess I'm gonna have to shake it. Teaspoon of sesame, and I actually eyeball things, so I'm gonna take about a teaspoon in the cup of my hand. Sprinkle it right on top. Okay. So we're going to just let this go for about five more minutes until the coleslaw wilts and it will be done. I will put it in the serving bowl and I will tell you, I'm going to serve this with a side of veggies. Not quite sure what. I think I might add um, possibly a salad, a nice side salad, or I might do some broccoli and cauliflower because those are my two staples that I always have in my refrigerator and I love roasting them. 
All right, let me give this a try. Okay, so this is live, right? Oh, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Ooh. So, what that tastes like, it tastes like an egg roll in a bowl. So, without the wonton, right? Wow, that is really, really good. And you know what? Um, the sriracha, while I smelt it, it was very fragrant. I was expecting it to be more spicy, and it really, um, it's not that spicy. Very, very good recipe. I highly recommend it. So, remember, you can print this out. Find it, it's easy protein slaw, and what a great source of protein, right? Have a fantastic day. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know.